Hello and welcome to this ArtCam Express 2013 demonstration where I'll be showing you how we can create this Halloween spider coaster using ArtCam Express. When I head over to ArtCam Express you can see that I've got one module added and that is advanced 2D machining and that is so we can add bridges to our pieces later on. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a new model. I'm going to create a model with a width of 200, a height of 500 and a thickness of 3 millimeters. The origin was in the center of my model and what I'm going to do first of all is create the base for my spider. So I'm going to create a circle, center 0, 0 with a radius of 50 and hit create. Now what I need to do is create the notches where the spider legs are going to fit in. So I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to do a width of 15 millimeters and a height of 3, seeing as my material is 3 millimeters thick. And then I can say create, close my form down, then I'm going to shift select my circle and just align to the right there. So I'm just going to zoom in to where my rectangle touches my circle and select my rectangle and just nudge it to the right slightly so we can see that they're fully overlapping. Now what I'm going to do is enter node editing mode by hitting N on the keyboard and then I'm going to remove this right hand vertical span by pressing R on my keyboard whilst hovering over it. Now I need to copy this U shape around my circle. So I'm going to select exit node editing mode, block copy rotate, I'm going to say rotate copy. The center can be 0, 0, seeing as we created our circle in the center. And then we can have an incremental step of 30 degrees. And we're going to create nine objects. So once I've done that, you can see we've copied our rectangle circularly around my model. Now I can select these two notches at the front and delete them. So now I have eight notches for where my legs are going to fit in. Now I need to complete my base by just zooming in and trimming away the unwanted vectors. Okay, so now once I've done that, I can box select all of my individual vectors and say join with coincident nodes. So I currently have 16 individual vectors and afterwards I'm going to have one. I'll say join and then our base is done. Now I want to start creating my legs. All I'm going to do is select my base, holding down my alt key, I'm just going to move them over to the left there so we can start working on our leg using one of the slots as a template. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a straight polyline from the bottom left of my first notch that I created holding down my control key to create a straight line and we'll just drag him out like so. Spacebar to end your line. Now what I need to do is create a sharp point so I'm going to start from the top corner of my original rectangle 
and I can just create my spider leg like so. It doesn't need to be wholly accurate, spacebar to end your line. Now I'm going to control, holding down my alt key, I can pull it down and create the bottom part of my spider leg. Now I'm going to trim the unwanted vectors. I want to create a foot, so I'm going to create a circle, click somewhere around this area, create your circle, and say create. We might want to reposition him slightly, so just move him over to the right there. Then I'm going to enter node editing, select these top three points, bring them down. So we've got a flatter foot. Then whilst in node editing, hover over these bottom two spans. And I can remove them by pressing R on my keyboard. Now I can trim the unwanted vectors like so. I'm going to enter node editing again, select my line here, I'm going to delete my unwanted point by hovering over them and pressing D on the keyboard, and then I'm going to bring this point over to my edge like so. Now we've got the basis of our spider leg. I'm going to put in a little bit of detail. So I'm going to use a straight polyline. And straight out like so. Spacebar to finish the line. And then I'm going to create some curves. I'm going to do another straight line. This time I'm going to bring it down. Spacebar to end your line, and then another curve up to the top here, like so. I'm going to do a little bit more detail. I'm going to create a bulge here, and then another, and then our final one at the top here. Now what I can do is just delete this guide curve, like so. Now if I just hide this for a moment, you can see we've not quite finished off our lines. I'm just going to move them out of the way completely. I just need to draw a straight line to join these vectors together. And then finally, I use the trimming tool We'll trim that there. The last thing I want to do is just round this top off so we don't have such a sharp point there. I'm going to go back to my create arcs. In fact, first of all, I'm going to draw a straight line. It's going to be a guide curve for us. Hold down control, bring that out, say space bar, create an arc, snap to your key point, snap to your second key point, zoom in, we don't want to overlap and then we've created our curve like so. Then all we need to do is trim away the unwanted vectors. I'll just move this vector right out of the way. Now I'm going to select all of these vectors and join with coincident nodes. So you can see we'll have 15, we've got 15 vectors, and we're going to end up with just one, which is perfect. So I'm going to say join, I'll close that down. What we can do now is start copying these legs, so we've got eight of them. What I'm going to do is move them up here. I'm holding down my control key, bring out a second one. I'm going to enter the transform tool. Holding down my alt key means we can snap and turn it 180 degrees over. Now I can simply tessellate my legs like so. So I'll grab both of these, holding down my control key and my alt key. I'll drag two more out like so. We need to create another four. So what I'm going to do is just drag a couple more out, put one up here, and then I'll hold down my control and alt again, and one down here. So we're nesting all of our vectors manually. 
Now I've got a nice big block, so I can select all of these vectors. Holding down my control and Alt key, I can pull that straight down. And again, control and Alt, and I bring that straight down. And we've got three copies, and we can have as many of these as we like. So now I want to create my toolpaths. So I'm going to select all of my vectors. I'm going to click on toolpaths. I want to create a profile path to cut them all out. I want to profile outside of my vectors. Finish depth of three to cut all the way through my three millimeter thick block of material. I'm going to select a profiling tool. I'm going to choose a 0.25 millimeter end mill. If you don't already have one of these or if you want to use a different tool in your tool crib, we can create a new tool or copy an existing and then edit it like so. Then you can input the diameter in this box here. You can also give it a tool number. So I'm select my 0.25 millimeter. And then I need to add bridges to stop my pieces from falling about, getting damaged when we cut them out. So I'm going to start off with a constant number of two, a length of three millimeters, and a thickness of, we'll try 1.5 millimeters, which is half the thickness of our material. And we're going to do just 2D bridges, and we'll say add. So we can have a look and analyze where our bridges are positioned. So I think they're in a fine place for all of the legs. We can chop them out. What might not be so easy is these bridges here and cutting them out. So I'm going to say edit bridges. And then we can manually move these bridges around to where we think they would be more suitable. So we'll just do these on these base pieces dragging them around like so. When we've done that you can name your toolpath and we can say calculate. So once the toolpaths are calculated we can close it down and we can run a simulation. Before I do a simulation I'm just going to increase my resolution and I'm going to bring it up to its maximum like so. I'm going to go across to my 3D view. You can see that we've got our toolpath created. I'm just going to say right click and simulate toolpath. We can have a look. If we view from the top and zoom in, we can inspect our bridges like so. I can go to my simulation toolbar and change the simulation default. like so. And then all I need to do is save my toolpaths. So I'm going to click on toolpath, I'm going to say save, profile, end mill, we're going to choose a location, so I'm going to save it to my desktop in Spider Coaster and say open. I'm going to create a new folder called toolpaths like so. So I'll open that up and then I'm just going to name it Spider Coaster 0.25 millimeter end and then I can choose my post processor I'm just going to use my g-code arcs to create a tap file and say save once I've done that, I can navigate to that folder, go to my toolpaths. You can see we've got spider coaster, 0.25mm end mill. I can just edit that with notepad and we can view the G code like so. That's all for today in this short Halloween Arkham Express 2013 demonstration with the module of Advanced 2D Machining added. Um, please look out for more videos and thank you very much for watching.